Hello everyone. Here I have prepared a dashboard in Excel where I can select store name. You can see the values are changing dynamically. Also, I can select a particular year range to reflect the respective months value of the sales of respective products. For this, I have used a data sheet which have details such as date, store name, which product sold, the quantity of sale, and the amount earned. Let's see how we can create this particular creative dashboard. So first, what we'll do, we have to create this particular pivot table from this particular data set. So here you can see the product ABC that is product type and the store name is coming here and the values are coming here. So how we can do this? Go to here, here, select, insert, click pivot table, create the pivot chart in new sheet, just click OK. I want, what we want, that store name at the top so store name place it in the filter option next i want the products in the rows and the amount here so for that product place it in the rows and the amount here so you can see the values are coming in the form of number we want it in the form of percentage. So just click here, go to here, just select. So value as percentage of column total. And also, I don't want to populate in decimals, as if here also you can see they are not in the decimals. So just click here. Number format, remove the decimal, click OK. This is the first step we have achieved. Next, for showing it, we have here some values which are hidden. Let me bring it up. This is nothing, the remaining part of the 100 percentage. So, what we will use equal to 1 minus. Select the cell number that is B and 4. Okay. Similarly, click it down. You will get the percentage remaining value. That means 33% is product A cell and 67 is the remaining. Similarly, here we have put a sales of store, whichever populate here. This is required to be populated here, hence we will put a formula equal to of ampersand. Yes, so you can see the sales of all came. This is the step which we have prepared the data. Now we have to create this dashboard. Let's see how we can do it. Go here, go to the insert, select donut. Okay. I have selected any cell and clicked here. So I have to first create a donut here. So what we'll do? Select this, go to select data, add. No need to mention any series name. Just here mention 1, 1, 20 times. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now as I clicked the entire Thing is distributed into 20 smaller cells. Click OK. 
I don't want to populate this and start title here. Just go to here, remove this and now next what to do. I have to increase this width. So how we can do it? Select any right click on my data series. We'll get this particular option. Now just go to here, donut size, whole size, and increase it or decrease it. I let me keep it around. 65. Okay. Click outside, close this. Now this is created. Now next to it, what I want to populate this to value on this. So what we can do? Go here. Go to chart design. Select data. Add. And. Remove this and click OK. Now, this particular blue form defined 33% and this defined as 67%. Now, coming back to here, as you can see here, dashboard that this is a single format is there. We're having one data series. So, we have used it some intelligently how we can do that. Let's select this one. Fill it with the single color. Suppose I want to put it with the suppose green is a color. Now it is populated here. Now I want to bring this series two over this. So how we can do that? Just go here, go to here, and bring. This. Now you can see it came on top of the series one data. Now, let me change this one. Suppose I want to change this to a transparent. Just select, or once again, I can do just select. Again, click once again so that this particular thing is selected. Now, right click on my data point, fill it, and make it no fit. Similarly, I will color this one, select it. Right click, form a data point. Let me fill it with solid fill. Make it color as a white and increase the transparency till 30%. Now you can see a beauty that this is having a value. This reflects that this much percentage is the value of product A for all the cells. Now Suppose I will change it, anyone, click OK, the value get changed. So this is the way where we have brought a dynamic format. Now I want to populate the percentage that is 26% here. So what we will do, just insert, go to here. Select a shape, select a text box, and press place it here. Now, in this text box, place equal to this cell value that is B4. Enter. Now you can see it came, it place it in between and format it to any type as if it is green we we'll pull it down and make it white or can change to any format whatever you fit so let me keep it white and increase it just pull and place it in between come somehow like this or you can also remove if the fill 
say outline no outline change it this now you can see it is skin now if i change it see, this value is also changed and this is also changed now this is how we have achieved this one and as if this is for product a so you can insert one below first let me make this one transparent go to here no fill no save is it okay now let's make a copy of this let me place it here later on we'll place the percentage one select it place it here and make three in here because product a b c all three are required to be done now what you can do select this select select this like this and select this and go to save format align it urgently and now let me place this one here let me copy it paste another one here copy and paste this scheme but it should be 33 percent it should come v4 it will be v5 and this will also be v6 let me format it as per similar way now i want this product a b c at the bottom of the line so what we can do insert go here go here and select set make it a similarly it can be done in a way in this way as as you like it up to you how you want to do just want to give a rec representation that how to do it with simply as these three places let me change it to a5 let me make this also a6 and select it and format it similarly let me place another top and here i have to mention the sales of this so it will be c one change it as per your relevance now this part is done but all are coming same value so what we have to do go here and change it select data the series 2 will be edited and it should be this one okay Similarly, this one also. Like data, the series two will be changed, and it should come. This. Okay. Now, uh, these three are done. Let me change and show you, like whether it is changed or not. Suppose I have selected this. All three are changed. Now, next thing is there that uh, here I have used different different colors that you can make it i have you for uh, doing it quickly i selected all as a green and next what is required i have to bring this slicer so what we will do go to insert tab you can select a slicer before that just click any cell here this slicer. i want a slicer of the store i will select this store click ok now you can see it came in a single column 
but what is here i have this this column and rows so what to do go to here right click slice a city so here you can see this came this came this came. everything is coming as for this go to size and properties go to positions and layout number of column you can increase it to three now all key close this increase this this it place it next there is a timeline that can easily be done go to select any cell here go to insert select timeline get a date option and it will come here you can place it up here increase it as per your requirement now you can see it is came here the time date and time and store name simply hide this i don't want to see this one and you can merge it so that it will look good this is the way how we can create a creative dashboard Select M, change to M, N, N, P, it stands to here. Hence, you can select months as you want, and you can see the dynamic values are changed. You can select the store name and respective month. If you want, you can change to years also. You can see the value. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.